Today, I'm getting out of the office and out of the city. I'm taking my digital art gear and I'm going to the top of the world to create a landscape painting. This video was created in collaboration with Dell Technologies. It's a nice summer morning, nearing fall time, and I'm driving about an hour outside of Seattle to North Bend. The landscape here is shaped by rolling hills and mountains that hide numerous lakes and waterfalls. Today I've chosen Rattlesnake Lake as my destination. The lake itself is worthy of a painting, but the main attraction is Rattlesnake Ridge. I've painted the ridge before, and as I stood there on the shore looking up at it, I knew I'd rather paint a view from the top. I've never done this hike before, and I didn't know what to expect, but I wanted to be adventurous. The hike to Rattlesnake Ledge is just under two miles, which isn't a challenge for me, but I wasn't dressed for a long hike, and I was wearing a full pack with a tripod, camera, easel, and supplies, plus a metal folding chair, laptop bag, and a pop-up canopy. What? I want to be comfortable. So I started up the trail. Some hikers told me that it would be about an hour and a half round trip. I wasn't sure if I'd be able to make it, but why not try? I wasn't even 10 minutes in before I started to feel the weight of all my gear. A fellow hiker passed me and probably thought, this guy ain't gonna make it. But a couple of deer that were standing in the distance gave me motivation to endure the discomfort. You can do it, they mouthed to me. Or maybe they were just chewing grass, who knows. Nevertheless, I felt assured that I would be almost guaranteed a nice scene to paint and plenty of b-roll for my video, if I could just make it to the top. I'm not gonna lie, it was pretty difficult to hike with that much gear. I wouldn't try this at home. It took me probably about an hour, but I made it, and it was totally worth it. I finally got to see the lake from above, and it was really beautiful. The ledge was wide and flat, so I could have set up there, but there were too many people coming and going, and I wanted to be a little more low-key. Squirrel! Plus there wasn't any shade on the ledge, and I was worried that setting up my pop-up canopy there would be a bad idea. Nearby was a small, somewhat flat viewpoint, with some tree cover that overlooks Mount Sai in the distance. This seemed like the best spot, so I set up there. See, I told you I'd be comfortable. Do you know how many canopies and chairs I saw up there? Zero. The ground was too uneven for the heavy metal travel easel I brought, so I hauled that up for nothing. But I was quite comfortable with the Dell Precision workstation in my lap. I began painting the scene using a small drawing tablet. I only had a short time to paint, so I knew I'd have to get the bulk of it done, and then add the finishing touches in my studio. It was a really peaceful place to create a painting, and it felt good to get out of the studio. After about an hour, I had to wrap things up so I had enough time to hike down and get back home. The following day, I opened the painting on my workstation and added some fine details until I was happy with the results. I really appreciate that I was able to use the Dell Precision to create this painting in two different locations. I didn't have to transfer the art to my desktop, and I didn't feel like I was sacrificing anything in terms of performance to create work outside the studio. I can't imagine hauling my desktop to the top of a mountain. If you've never created a digital painting outdoors, I highly recommend it. It's so much more inspiring than painting from a photo in your studio. If you enjoyed this adventure, be sure to check out more of my digital art videos and tutorials. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.